Howdy everybody, this is Vague with IronThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to talk about how the treasure trove from another world is giving free resources. Kind of a weird name, but the bottom line is, as a lot of people are finding out, this stuff's pretty good. So first and foremost, you can get up to eight slots on this thing. You click over on the right side of the screen to open it up. Um, if you want to buy the packs to open up more slots, you have more chances at good things. If you don't, you can just go with the opening ones that are uh, they're there already. Automatically, you get a free one in the mail, so make sure you check your mail. And then once you have your slots open, hit the open treasure with the key button up there. So you need these keys to open it up. And as you can see, you have all of these eight different options of what you can get. Um, don't do what I just did, which is skip forward without buying something unless your screen looks like this. See how I've only got speed ups and immortal tokens? Uh, one thing to note is that the Blood Moon Hero that uh, some of you might be buying this weekend does take spades. So if you don't have a good resource or other option for uh, for what to buy, then buying a mortal token of spades is not a bad idea because it's pretty cheap on the resources. Uh, the speed ups are also pretty cheap. That's actually a low amount of resources at this point. But the big thing to note is that there are a lot of good things that you can get out of this. Um, right here is what you can get out of it. So you see Titan Fragment Selections, Divine Stones, level 60 gear, all that other stuff. Um, so, for the most part, you're going to want to buy something on every screen. Most of it, most screens will have a good deal. But the reason I say that it's free resources is because if you look at the resources, again, I didn't get any resources on this one. I got a, a Cerberus Summoning Scroll, which is pretty good. Expensive, though, $21 billion. And you'll find that out about these treasure troves. The high-end stuff, like the level 60 gear, or more importantly, the Titan Moonstones and the Titan Fragments. Those things cost like over, I think the, the Moonstones cost like 170 billion of the uh, resource that it takes. But as we've seen from the ancient cards, not ancient, I don't know if they're, I don't think they're ancient, I think they're normal cards. But what, we, what we've seen from the cards is that it's actually hard to get level 6 Moonstones. So it's not a bad idea. There you see me uh, be an idiot and not open enough stone in order to buy that Cerberus. But for the most part, if it's a hot deal... You're going to want to buy it, even if it's extremely expensive. Or if you don't care about the Titans, that's that's fine. It is what it is. But the big thing about this thing is that you see, here's a bunch of resources here. See right there on the top left, secured 60 million food times 30. 180 million is how much that costs. You get 10 times the amount of resources as you spend by buying this. So you should basically never skip the screen if you've got resources on there. Same thing for the wood, the iron, the stones, everything else like that. Uh, see down in the bottom right, 135 million stone in order to buy 10 135 million stone tokens. Uh, they are secured, so sorry for those of you that have alts that want to farm your alts all the time. Um, <clears throat> you're going to have to do the whole open the secured resources, start a research, cancel it, and you know that whole situation. But as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm going through and I'm buying various resources from every single one. So now I'm going to go through and show you also, every single Inferno gives you two keys to another world. That means you get two of the chest refreshes every single time you complete an Inferno. So if you have the time, you should be logging in every hour and doing an Inferno because you get two more treasure keys every single time you do an Inferno. Here I got 200 ferocious material, material chests, so I'm going to go and open more wood so I can buy those uh, because I actually want the ferocious chests. 4.2 billion wood for 200 chests i mean if you think about it that and how many you get in packs that's actually a pretty good deal um so i'm gonna spend the money on that but if not then just open up the resources take your 10 times per resource and call it a day as you can see here it's just gemstones boosts everything else like that i'm gonna buy the wood and keep on powering through here and so like i said every time you do an inferno you get two keys Every time you refresh with the key, you basically get either free resources or you get some other kind of item that's going to be cheap slash good slash whatever, as you'll see in just a minute. Uh, the gemstones, really cheap as well. So just keep on opening these things up every day. You know, do that. Here I got a Moonstone of Bravery. There's a big one. 171 billion stone for me to buy that Moonstone of Bravery. So I'm going to buy that. Because that is a savior titan rune, and it increases. That's as good as it gets, other than, you know, if I if I were to enhance that moonstone. So even though it costs a ludicrous amount of stone, 171 billion stone is like how much it costs to upgrade a building to level 45. But it is what it is. It's worth it. Here's a satyr for 2 billion, so I'm going to buy that satyr as well. 
And you see, I got lucky right there with that hot deal on the Moonstone and then a Seder. Uh, so that's worth it. And then I'm going to get unlucky for a while. Here's Aspirant for another $4 billion. So whenever I see free resources on this uh, treasure trove from another world, uh, as you can see, I'm now definitely net negative on the resources. But I actually got 200 Aspirant chests, 200 Ferocious chests, and I got a level 6 Moonstone, which is a pretty big deal considering the fact that whenever I combine three epic Moonstones, I get one epic Moonstone about 90... I think my return rate on that is about 99.9%. Um, so now I'm just going to open up the rest of my keys and I'm going to buy iron, silver, stone, whichever one it is, because there's where the free resources come in. Um, it's almost a relief when I see a hot deal not pop up because that way I don't have to spend all of the billions of stone and I just get to take my free resources and go on about it. So I'm going to be logging in throughout the day, uh, while this, this event's going on. I'm hoping this sticks around. I actually haven't read the forums, so I'm not sure if this is going to be a forever thing or if this is just a temporary thing, but, uh, this means that... Because of this event right here and having eight boxes open, it means that doing Infernos is a lot, lot better. Because if you think about it, the Inferno rewards just went up by a whole bunch by giving you two keys. Now you can get hundreds of millions of resources pretty much, you know, 85% of the time when you complete an Inferno. Um, this time, I my only option here is to buy the food or I can buy marble, everything else like that. A lot of people are looking really hard for the Divine Stones. I know a lot of folks are really short on Divine Stones. So... With that said, Divine Stone is one of the hot deals. It's expensive. You have to spend a lot of uh, resources on it, but you can get Divine Stones from this. And this is, you know, one of the only ways to get Divine Stones for, air quotes, free. So just make sure you're hopping in. Make sure you're doing your Infernos. Get those two free keys. Open your two free chests an hour and get some free resources slash other hot deals. Uh, level 60 gear. Radiant gear, you can actually get plus 10 level 60 and uh, radiant stuff out of that. So hope this helped. Like, subscribe, all that other stuff that YouTubers say, and thanks for watching. Go check it out if you haven't yet.